An Independence mother wants answers. Her 22-year-old son was killed a week ago. The family of Corey Lakovich found him in his bed, bleeding from stab wounds. The college student later died from his injuries. Shannon Halligan has new information on where he may have encountered trouble that night. You did great. Mm -hmm. Josh Metchi would always go for walks near his home in Independence with his older brother, Corey Lakovich. Walked around this block and took a quick trip into Walmart and even down to Independence Center with never a problem. And a week ago, Corey's mom said the 22-year-old college student made the same trip home. He was out with friends and he was talking to someone on the phone and the last thing anyone heard was, I'm going to run up to quick trip and then I'm going home. Corey made it home that night, but somewhere along the way, he was stabbed and later died in the hospital. Family members held a vigil near where they believe Corey was that night before his brother found him bleeding in his room. You know, you think you're in a safe neighborhood. You think that the, you know your neighbors. You think that you're doing everything you can for your kids. And then your kid goes to Quick Trip and he's dead. A week later, Corey's family still has many questions and concerns. I think right now we're all in the mode of just keeping our children close to us, not letting them go outside right now because we don't know where it happened. Shannon Halligan, 41 Action News.